we want to test the series below for convergence using the root test. So to apply the root test, given the summation of a sub n, we find the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n, which will equal L, and then based upon the value of L, we can determine if the series converges, diverges, or if the test fails. So going back to our example, we'll begin by determining the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of e raised to the power of two n divided by n raised to the power of n. Now in this case, let's rewrite the nth root as a rational exponent. Taking the nth root of something is equivalent to raising it to the one over n power. And because of the absolute value, we'll assume it's positive. So we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of, we'd have e raised to the power of two n divided by n raised to the power of n all raised to the one over n power. So this is equivalent to the limit as n approaches infinity of e to the two n raised to the one over n power divided by n to the n to the one over n power. And we have powers to powers we multiply, so this would give us the limit as n approaches infinity of e raised to the power of two n times one over n. Well, two n times one over n, we can put this over one if we want, would be two n over n or just two. So the numerator is now just e squared. Now for the denominator, we'd have n raised to the power of n times one over n. And since these are reciprocals, the product will be one. But let's go ahead and show that. We'd have n times one over n, which simplifies to n over n, or just one. So now to find the limit, as n approaches infinity of e squared divided by n, well since the numerator is just a constant e squared, and the denominator increases without bound, as n approaches infinity, this limit will equal zero. We can also take a look at the degree of the numerator denominator. The degree of the numerator would be degree zero, and the degree of the denominator is degree one. And since the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator, the limit equals zero. So going back to our notes just for a second, since zero is less than one, the series converges. So we'll say by the root test, since the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of the absolute value of a sub n equals zero, which is less than one, the series converges. I hope you found this helpful.